Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter five, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm actually not gonna do number two with you. I'm gonna start on number three, but before I do that, I want you guys to pause, write down at least the initials at the top of your paper so that you remember the steps as we're going. Okay? So dirty monkey smoke completely bed, or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? It just means divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. So we're gonna get started, okay? So I'm not going to do number two because it's going to be super easy for you once you figure out how to do it. You can go back and do that one in about two seconds. We're going to start at number three. Okay. Because if you'll remember from the last lesson, we cannot have a decimal outside of the box. So I have to move it one, two times, which means I need to move this one one, two times. Okay. So now I'm going to have seven into 168. Okay. So seven is not going to go into one. It will go into 16, two times, two times seven. Okay, so you'll. Okay, so I did my division, two times, two times seven, 14, that's my multiplication. I'm gonna subtract, I get two, okay? Checking just means checking that two is smaller than seven because otherwise that one needs to move up to a three, okay? So now two is smaller than seven. I can bring down my eight. Seven goes into 28 four times. Four times seven is 28. I subtract, I get zero. So now my answer is going to be 24. You still need to write your work down. Write your work down, okay? So I'm going to, not on number two though, I have number three. Sorry guys, okay. So I'm actually going to skip down now and I'm gonna start with number eight. Wait, nope, on number nine. I'm gonna start on number nine. Okay, so I want for you guys to do two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm gonna show you how to do nine. Then you can go back and do those ones, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I want you guys to see that you're not always gonna have the same amount of decimals outside that you would inside. So, this says 2.3 into 10.81. So you will see that out here, you only have to move that decimal one time, which means you only have to move this decimal one time, then bring it up. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Okay, so now you have 23 into 108.1. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to write down multiples of 23 because I only know a couple of those off the top of my head. Okay, so no shame in using your calculator for finding your multiple, not for doing the math, just for finding your multiples. Okay, so hopefully we don't have to go anywhere past this, okay? So now 23. Oh, well, first, we definitely need to push our decimal up, okay? It stays there. Now we just need to make sure we line up our numbers, okay? So 23 is not going to go into 1. It's also not going to go into 10. It'll go into 108, looks like, four times. That was 92. Subtract, okay? When I subtract, 2 minus, sorry, 8 minus 2 is 6, and 10 minus 9 is 1. 16 is smaller than 23, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that one. So maybe I will have to go a little bit further. Okay. Okay, so then we have 138, and then, oh, 161, there we go. Okay, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, and that will be 161, subtract and get zero. So my answer then is 4.7, okay? Make sure you write down your work, okay? Remember, I just wanted to show you, you don't have to move the decimal to the end of whatever this is. You have to move it the same amount of times that you had to move out here. That was just one time. So all I had to do was move it one time and then bump it up, okay? So go back and do two, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and make sure you write down your work for three and nine, okay? We are gonna go down to number 10, and it says, at the market, grapes cost 85 cents per pound. 
person buys grapes and pays a total of $2.55, how many pounds of grapes did she buy? Okay, so I'm going to move that decimal one, two times, and one, two times. So now I'm going to have 85 into 255. Okay, so I'm going to write down my multiples of 85 because I don't know those. Oh, and then 255. So we got it pretty easy, okay? So 85 is not going to go into 2 or 25, but it looks like it will go into 255. 3 times 3 times 85 was 255. Subtract and get 0. So that would be 3 pounds. Okay? All right. Make sure you write your work down, guys. Okay? Stephen kayaks on a river near his home. He plans to kayak a total of 6.4 miles. Stephen kayaks with an average speed of 1.6 miles per hour. How many hours will it take Stephen to kayak 6.4 miles? So, what you need to do is 6.4 for really the 64. We need to divide that by 16. Okay? Well, I know my multiples of 16 well enough to know it goes 16, 32, 48, 64. So 16 is obviously not going to go into 6, but it'll go into 64 four times. 4 times 16 is 64. Subtract and get 0. So that's going to be 4 hours. Okay. Make sure that you write your work down. Okay. All right. We are going to go on to the back and you're going to do the lesson check. Okay. We will do the spiral review together. Okay. Susie's teacher asks her to complete the multiplication problem below. What is the product? Okay. So I would actually, instead of doing it this way, I would put the 3.7 on top because I want to multiply everything by zero. So I'm going to take that zero out. Okay. Now I'm just going to go 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, and I'm going to go in 1, 2 places for the decimal. So 1.11. Okay? All right. An internet store, a laptop computer costs $724.99. At a local store, the same computer costs $879.95. What is the difference in the prices? Difference means subtract. When you have to find the difference, you are subtracting. So we're going to put the bigger number up top. We're going to subtract the smaller number. And the answer is going to be our answer to our problem. Okay? So I'm going to drop my decimal first. 5 cannot take away 9, so I'm going to borrow 1, making that 15. 15 take away 9 is 6. Okay, 8 cannot take away 9, so I need to borrow 1 again, making that 18. 18 take away 9 is 9. 8 minus 4 is 4. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 8 minus 7 is 1. $154.96. All right. So, if you will remember from our previous lesson, when we are dividing by 10 with the exponent, we are moving the ex we're, we're moving the decimal the amount of times that the exponent says. So you'll see this one says zero, which means they didn't move the decimal at all. Okay? This one says one, so we're gonna move the decimal one time that way. So 7.58. This one says two, one, two, point seven five eight. Okay? All right. Which symbol makes the following statement true, greater than, smaller than, or equal to? So we have, they both start with 5. They both have an 8. They both have the decimal there, so that's good. That one has an 8, and that one has a 9 now, which makes that one bigger. All right, guys, that is it for 5.6. Come on back for 5.7. See you soon.